what I'm grateful of my, uh, my neighbor just down the street, Linda Duncan, as well. <laughs> well, it's a, uh, a great, great time to be here today, everybody, sisters, brothers, friends, and comrades. I uh, am speaking today representing the Edmonton Social Planning Council. The last time I was uh, uh, at the legislature for such a large crowd gathered to uh, speak out on a uh, provincial based issue was way back in the days of the struggle against Bill 11 with the, uh, with the Medicare, Save Medicare struggle. You know, friends, we've won that one. So we understand, and I think we hold as values common to all, that the market does not work when we're talking about health care. If the market was applied to health care as it seems to what people want to do, then we would see the same kind of market failure that's occurred in other countries in which we are presently seeing in the face of the rental housing market. The crisis that we're on top of, in my estimation, is not just a crisis of the poor. It's not just a crisis of the homeless. It's a crisis of all working people, and especially young people who are trying to scrape things together, avoid trickling up in their apartments uh, as the rent increases uh, in, the, in this period of market failure continue to escalate uh, beyond any reasonable capacity to pay. mention uh, briefly that the uh, Edmonton Social Planning Council, in uh, cooperation with uh, City of Edmonton Councilor Michael Fair, is hosting two renters listening forums next week, next uh, Wednesday and Thursday at the Stanley Miller Library. There's flyers around. Uh, for those who have access to websites, just check out Edmonton Social Planning Council. Com. And uh, those, anybody who's got a story to tell about the rent experiences that they've experienced or the housing uh, experience they had, come on and speak out because we've got to make our voices louder. This issue has got legs and we are going to see some change in this province.